Welcome to another episode of Capper Comparison Picks. As promised, here's the remaining picks for Nicaraguan Premier League Soccer. Match day 13 of 18. Your picks for April 1st. Okay, now it worked out. I don't know, it just worked out this way. It's kind of like uh, the earlier games I did were um, preliminaries. Uh, this would be like the co-main event. This is number three versus number four. And this is like the main event. Or, you know, the best game of the night happens to be the last game of the night. Number one versus number two. So this is pretty exciting. Um, let me just jump right into it. So you can go ahead and place your bets. And I did speak earlier that you can... Um, I don't know if they're all going to be available, but you can stream or if, if you can't stream you can get uh, highlights from that Liga Primera that I mentioned what did I do with that oh here it is I found this site or I mean that site I found this uh, YouTube channel Liga Primera and look this is just a screenshot I printed out but look here's that game uh, this was uh, two days ago and this was streamed live. It was Walter Freddy versus Chinadega. Walter Freddy whipped them seven to nothing. But I'm just saying, I don't know if these are going to be streamed live tonight. So don't, you know, don't hold me to it. But if not, you'll be able to see the highlights tomorrow. I'm pretty much certain of that because they're showing all that. Anyway, let's get right to this. Okay, here's the eight o'clock Eastern Time game. Okay, Derry Engine or Derry Ankin. Number three, going against Ferretti, Walter Ferretti. Okay, and they're number four. Darrington comes in overall, they're seven, three, and two. In the last five, they are three, one, and one. And they are the favorite to win this because they're home um, at a minus 160. Okay? Walter Ferretti, on the other hand, oh, overall, five, three, and four. Two and three in the last five, and the big underdog at plus two sixty four. Okay, Gary Ankin's last game was a loss, but they lost to uh, first place Managua, and that was a score of two to one. Uh, they lost, I think, like on the in the ninety sixth minute or something like that. They, they lost right at the end of the game. And that snapped, I wrote, that snapped a big streak that they had. Okay. Oh, all right, let's see. After going 13 games unbeaten, they finally conceded a 93rd minute goal winner to succumb to a loss against the, you know, top rated, you know, top team Managua. Oh. Um, when I get into the players, I got some more news. And look at that. I'm getting right into the players. Their best player, their best players, they have two guys, two people on the um, league leading scorers list, okay? One of them is uh, Danilo Zuniga. Now, Zuniga has, in 29 appearances, has seven Goals, like I said, he's in the top scores with four on the year. However, oh, look at that, that's messy. However, Zuniga is not playing because he was, uh, yeah, he was ejected midway through the second half in their loss to Managua. So Zuniga is out. Just a Okay, just, you know, I got to mention that. And he is put, potentially their best player. But they do have still uh, Bernardo. I think it's, it's like Luis Bernardo. Jose Bernardo L'Oreal. L'Oreal. L'Oreal? 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 Yeah, L'Oreal. B. L'Oreal. He's uh, in 12... He's got four goals. That's a pretty good ratio. And he's, like I said, he's in the top scorers list with four scores on 
in the Clausera League or tournament. Okay, he is from uh, Uruguay too. He is. They have five national team players and um, two foreigners, and Loriega is one of them. Two foreign. Okay. Now, going over to Walter Freddy, as you know, I've mentioned it even in this episode, They, their last game was a, they destroyed Chinandega. But, people don't realize, because I know you don't follow, Chinandega. Okay. Shoot. Well, they beat them 7 to 0. Now, let me explain. Um, you know why they took advantage because they Chinandiga picked up red card right before halftime. So then after half, Walter Freddy piled on five scores after halftime. So it was just, you know, after the red card. Fernando Villalapando, he is their best player. He had a hat trick. In, in the last game there. Bill Pondo. And he is, um... Where am I? Okay. He's first with eight goals in the league. First place in the league with eight goals. That's three above the second place guy. And, um... In 10 appearances, he has eight goals. Now that is a pretty good, pretty good ratio. That's, that means, you know, more than half his games that he plays in, he's scoring a goal. Pretty almost every game he score, he plays in, but I doubt that's gonna happen against Darianic. But regardless, uh, he is uh, also from Mexico, so he's one of the foreign players on their team. Okay. Um, oh boy, see they they got two more guys that are on the list of top scorers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write small. So hear me out. They have a uh, Leandro Figueroa. Leandro Figueroa in 26 appearances has eight goals. He's on the list with four. Okay. Then they have Deshaun Forbes. And he is on the list with four scores. And he has um, in 22 games matches, he has nine goals. Okay. So they got three three people on that list and they have that full place or the first place guy. Okay. Um, if I didn't mention the draw is at plus 240. Over on both these games is two and a half. The over on this game is plus 120 and the under is minus 140. Now let's look at the last times Last three times these guys played head to head. But first of all, uh, Walter Freddy also has two players from the national team and um, four foreigners. If you're a foreigner, that just means you got you're getting paid a pretty hefty sum to play in Nicaragua. That's why they, therefore, you are you know a, just. A foreigner playing in a different country, you gotta be a decent player. Okay, now let's get to their last three meetings chronologically. Okay, back in August 17th, 817, they had a zero on clean slate, clean sheet, clean sheet, zero, zero draw. Okay, then on, okay, October 23rd, uh, Dirianken won three to one. 
And then on most recently, February 9th, they won two to one. So let's uh, let's review. Um, Gary Atkins, the better team, but Walter Freddy's coming over, coming off that huge win against Chinandiga. However, they did take advantage of the red card and shot in five goals. I don't know who got red card. I didn't really dive that deep into that game, but because I was like, wow, they blew him out of the water. And then when during my research, yeah, I read, I found that. So, um, oh, and that win that they had against Chinadega, that was the first win in four games. They were on a three-game losing streak prior to that game. Okay, and now they're going to, to uh, Giriamba to play Giriankin. So I'm going to go with the home team here. I mean, they were, for a lot of the season, they were number one, Giriankin. And they just lost to Managua last week. Like I said, they were on a 13-game win streak before losing to the top, top team. So let me just switch colors so you can see it. Ranch is going to go here with Deryankin. As for the over-unders, let's see. We got under, over, 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 over. So of the displayed games, majority of them going over. This under, this draw, this happened in August. So, you know, that's, I'm just going to, plus over is a plus number. I'm taking the over at plus 120. Over two and a half at plus 120 and Deryankin. Okay? Now, the main event. We have number one, Managua taking on number two, Real Esteli. Now, Real Esteli and Managua, this is this is the match of the night because you know both the okay the lead right now there's six games left as like I said this is game third match day thirteen of eighteen so oh I gotta do it so we got this game tonight and five more to determine you know first place team right now. The separation in, in points in the standings is only two points. Managua maintained their lead at the top of the table by two points with dramatic stoppage time winning goal. You know, they when they beat Diriankin last week, it was from a substitute that came in because one of my favorite players. I right, let me get to that. Let me let me get to that. Let me break down the last games and stuff, you know, like how I've been doing. Okay. Uh, last week they had the win against Iriankin. And that was on, um, like I said, two to one. Two to one. And that was because they had to replace Cristiano. As some of you may know, Cristiano happens to be my favorite player on Managua. I was thinking like what is my favorite Nicaraguan soccer team? So and I don't you know I'm still unsure but I was like okay if I was to be given a free soccer jersey of your choice of any player from the Nicaraguan Premier League who would I pick? So then I thought about it. I was going to say oh, maybe Gabriel you know I mentioned him earlier he plays for uh, Yalapa or something um, no, I'm sorry. Gabriel plays, yeah, that was right. I was thinking maybe Gabriel, because I like Yalapa's colors. I like green, and that would be a green jersey. But then I was thinking, no, I would go with Cristiano from Managua. I like Managua too. I just, I don't like, when I started watching this, Darianakin was number one, and I was rooting for Managua. Now they're, that they're in first place. I don't want people to be like, oh, you just jumped aboard the bandwagon, you're front runner, whatever. I don't really care. But anyway, if I was to get any jersey, it would probably be Cristiano's from Managua. 
But last game, Cristiano. Uh, yeah, he got he's suspended. He's not playing this game. I'm not even put him on this board. He's not even on the list of top scorers anyway because they got so much talent. They have in their talent. They have. Uh, okay, I have to write one, two, three names in here because they're all on the list of top scorers. Cristiano has three for. He's, he's not on the list. You have to have four to get on that list of 15 players. So we have Pablo uh, Gallego. He is in sole possession of second place behind Villa Pondo. Uh, Pablo Gallego, on the season, he has five. Okay? And that's why he's in second place. It goes Villa Pondo with eight. Then uh, Gallego with five, and then everybody else on that list, all 13 of the other people, are all at, tied at four with four. And that's pretty much a lot of these people that you see up here. Okay, um, Gallego, you know, he's a midfielder, he's from Spain. He is, uh, he, that's foreign. Uh, he is in 34. He has, in 34 appearances, he has 12 goals, okay? Cristiano, in 35, has 11. Or, I'm sorry, and he, Cristiano, in 34, he's got 11. So, but on the season, he's only got three. That's what, and plus, he, he's not playing this game. Next, we have uh, Carlos Felix. He's a beast. He's from, he's, uh, he's from Mexico, and he has... 15 goals in 25 appearances and four on the season on the plus plus zero yeah and plus zero and finally Nahum Peralta also is on the list with four goals on the season he had 26 appearances he has seven goals Okay, right. So look, and I didn't even put Christian up there. So they're, they got, Monago's a pretty stacked team. Let's take a look at Real Esteli. Let's take a number, look at number two, see how they stack up and compare. Okay? Because they also have, they have three people on the list also. Their last game was a, it was a, actually a hard fought victory against last place Las Sabanas. It should have not have been that difficult to beat them. And they only won one to zero. Okay. And uh, now for their players, they have uh, Luis Aquina. He came in, he's on the. All right. Luis Aquina. Acuna. Acuna. Luis Acuna. In 12 appearances, he's got four goals, but he's on that list, you know. And he he wasn't even starting last game. He came in for Luis Lopez. Yeah, Luis Lopez was replaced at halftime against Deportivo Las Sabanas, and his place in the starting 11 might be taken by Luis Acuna, who came in for him on the, in that match. Okay, um, the winning the winning goal against Las Sabanas was, and this guy's on the list of top scorers. His name is Jorge Bitanker. Now Jorge Bitanker is uh, sorry, thirty two appearances. He has seven goals, four on four on the season. Finally, last guy on the list is a Mexican guy. His name is Tofik Gorch. He was a Gorch. Tofik Gorch. He's been mentioned in in previous uh, shows of mine. I remember his name. He's he's got good stats too. In twelve appearances, he's got four. He's a transfer, like I said, he's a new transfer from Mexico as of this year. 
he's on that team. Speaking of Mexico and other um, foreign players, let's, you know, first of all, over here, Managua has seven people on the national team. And then they have five foreign players, okay? And over here, Real Esteli has, listen to this, 12 people, 12 people from Real Esteli are on the national team. What's that tell you? 12, 12 people on the national team. And then um, four, four foreign, four foreign. Okay, but that means that Real Esteli, because they have 12 people on the national team, you know, to make the national team, you got to be better. You got to be a step above the regular average Nicaraguan player. So they have 12 Nats or foreign. They're, that means they got, they have talent on that team. Okay, um, let's look at their last, yeah, the last head-to-head uh, -head matchups. Running out of room. Okay. <clears throat> um, December fifteenth, Managua won one to zero. Then, um, oh, you know what? That was in the Apertura, Apertura um, playoffs, and but then they lost on the twenty first. In the Apertura tournament, two to nothing to Real Estelle. Okay, that was an interesting tournament. I, I imagine. I mean, I didn't watch it, but I see the results. And most recently, though, February eighth, Managua took them out zero to two. That means they played in, you know, they played against Real Estelle. Real Estelle was at home, and they won. So, Monago won two of the last three. Um, let's look at the over-unders. Look, this is under, that's under, that's under, that's over, that's under. So, and the under is at plus 100. If you're not familiar, I told you, uh, that's even. So, if you put $100, on a bet, you will get $100 back. Now, the minus 120, you would have to put $120 back to win 100. So the draw, draw is at plus 206. That means if you bet 100, you win 206 back, okay? All right, so as um, I can't go against Managua at home, they're undefeated at home, I mean, they're almost undefeated everywhere, but <laughs> but anyway, I can't go against them. I'm taking man. I gotta make I gotta either write smaller or make or get bigger boards or something because I'm running out of room with all this all this knowledge I'm dropping on you guys. Ranch is taken. Managua. And I said I'm taking the under. Okay, so let's recap for you so you can get these bets in. I'm taking uh, Darianka to beat Walter Freddy in at home. And uh, I'm also taking the over. Over here, I got Managua at home, undefeated at home. Uh, this is going to be a great matchup, though. I mean, Real Stelly, I'm, I'm tempted. But I can't. But they're, you know, plus 178 underdog. That would be a good payout if they could win money line. But I'm not going to take it. Oh, let me add that uh, Rickett, John from Rickett's Picks. I'll throw him right here. <laughs> Rickett Picks is also taken Managua on, in that match. Okay? So there you have it. Um, gather your information, place your bets, and cash those tickets. I appreciate you watching. Make sure, if you haven't yet, be sure to click subscribe 
hit that thumbs up, smash that thing. Uh, click the bell, because look, I made two shows today. And as long as there's sports, I'm going to keep making these shows. We still have, uh, there's still Russian, unfortunately, right before making this, I see that Wimbledon was canceled because of the coronavirus. That's heartbreaking. But Nicaraguan soccer is still on. And so is, um, oh, and there's other things that I've, I noticed have started back, that have came back. Chinese or Chinese Taipei basketball, I see is back. So there might be some of that coming in the future. Some of those shows, I'm not sure. And there's still Belarus, uh, Belarus soccer. And that season just started and they still that over there in Belarus, they still have fans. I see they're screening them. Like I saw this little when I was doing research, I saw this little pop-up excerpt and they showed some guy from, oh, go, Topito Belez is my favorite team. And and they're like, oh, it's better than sitting home. It's not the coronavirus, not so bug here in my town. Anyway, they had little interviews with these guys going in to watch <laughs> Belarus soccer live. But they are like, uh, when they're coming in, they're getting in thermometer check, like uh, the beep. And so they're kind of being screened, trying to keep that, if, you know, keep the potential of spreading the virus down there. But I, I'm glad that they're still playing. And as long as sports are still being played, I'm still gonna make videos. So go ahead and click that bell so you can get these videos as soon as I put them out, okay? Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, Good luck on your bets, and I will see you next episode.